Greetings, unsettled souls. You got two shows in one day. How does that happen? I told you the camera died earlier on the other one, but you didn't believe me. Uh, Sam I beat again, she here, Bam passing time, right for Teddy Stick. You are watching the correct views. And uh, we got a special guest. You might have noticed it's not an apparition. It's a link from Night Stalker Records. Uh, if you don't know who Link is, the music that you hear at the beginning of the show is my band Passing Time. And he is the owner of our record label, Night Stalker Records, and also the manager of our band Passing Time. Link, welcome to the show. What other Thank bands you. besides us are on the label that you want to promote? Well, we have Toward Soul and... Uh... We're working with Ariel's Angels, which is a a uh, non for non for profit organization that mm -hmm. we're working with, um, and you know, and, and all these things are coming ahead. We do have other artists and things that we were talking to in the background. We're not releasing any information just yet, only because we like surprises, and we now, like to keep our fans, you know, excited. So, uh, what's Torrid Soul like? Uh, he is, I would say, a, I, I would, very similar to Bon Jovi with a country mix, with a country sound. Um, kind of like Tesla, doing Tesla. Like a five-man electrical jam. Yes, 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 except he's a solo artist. Yes. yes, he's acoustic, um, absolutely fantastic, and uh, we will be bringing him out shortly. Um, we're thinking by September, we'll be seeing him, and we'll be able to come to his shows, and now, I don't know how many of you have read the uh, book. It's by Dean Koontz, and I read the book, and now, of course, I'm on air, and I'm forgetting the name of it. There was a character in a Dean Koontz book that the they couldn't be in sunlight at all, and it was a cumulative. What happened was, it, every time you get it, it, it's almost like radiation, for those of you that follow my Fukushima work. You, you get hit once, it doesn't go away. You get hit twice, they rise together. And it accumulates throughout the course of your life, and you can't go outside. It's not XP that the people uh, that Link is helping have, but it's really similar. And I know a lot of people that follow my channel are into horror novels and stuff. It's really close. And so now that I've sort of laid it out, what exactly is the Septo -optic illness? Septo-optic dysplasia. Septo-optic dysplasia is the frontal lobes and how your frontal lobes come together where your eyes meet. Um, for some reason, inside the womb, that part of the brain doesn't connect, and it stays separated. So a lot of the chemicals that operate in the front of your mind, from what I understand, the brain puts out chemicals in the front, and is what happens is that doesn't grow together inside the womb. So when, you, when you're born, you know, you, you have, it's hard to go into sunlight. Um, it could actually burn the skin. Um, it's hard on the eyes. It, you know, just real bright lights. Um, now like just, have lights you know, in the studio. No, just, just, actually... just for listeners at home, you don't have it. This is this is just for the right. You know, okay, good. No. Okay, just check it. No, no, no. I don't have it. No, it is not. It's nothing you can catch. It is all done inside the womb. So it's nothing that you want to go out. And catch. Most things that I catch tend to come from inside the womb. <laughs> so it's exactly different, friends. I promise you, it, it's different. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been interested in the, the, the bands that, like, how do you get signed, what do you do, how do you decide if you're interested in a band, or how do you decide which bands to listen to, or do you listen to everything people give you right now? I, right now, we're listening to every demo that comes in. Um, any links that are sent to us, we follow them, we check them out. We're looking for progressive sounds. We're in a new, a new age of music. We're in a new age of progression, and it's, you know, changing. Everything's changing right now. We're looking for the progressive sounds, the sounds where you're taking, say you might take soul, rock, and maybe a little rap, okay, or hip-hop as they prefer to call it, okay, and you mix those three to make a whole new rock sound. Mm -hmm. And these are the types of sounds that we're looking for. Plus, we also want, when we look for these progressive sounds, we want them to tell a story. We want that old-fashioned, you know, um, Jim Croce, how he tells yes. stories in his music. That's what we're looking for, is for the stories, the true life stories. As, uh, for instance, Passing Time, War on For Your Mind, you know. That talks about constantly, every day, you have the government, you got the police, you've got 
these people or that people always pull it on your mind, which is causing a war on for your mind. And we wrote and that for Alex Jones. By and me. that's what, you know, these stories, these are the things that were, you know, these are the types of sounds that we're looking for. And so far, you know, um, the ones we have found do exactly that. And they, they tell the story. I mean, anything... So even the... And I, and keep in mind, friends, I, I, I've been too busy between this show. I work at Teddy Stick. Uh, I'm actually on the label. My brother is recording the music, DJ Aaron, but I've just been too busy to hear much of it. What is it about an acoustic act that made you say, hey, wait a minute, you know, it, it's not as uh, busy as some of the stuff we were going to sign... What is it that made you uh, separate him from other artists? You know, the, the reason I separated him is because of the vocals and the stories that he or, he's telling. Um, he, uh, Torrid Soul has a song that he had wrote. It's original. And it's very ironic how this happened. Is We brought him to the studio and wanted to hear you know, what, you, what he has. And so we go through this. The first song he did is called uh, You Weren't There. Okay, and that's actually about suicide. Okay, um, and to hear this song, you know, it caused goosebumps right away. I stopped him right there on the tracks. You know, I just totally stopped him from what he was doing and said, we have to record this now. I want, you know, a demo now mm -hmm. because of the goosebumps. Anytime you hear a song, and, and the reason that it touches me so much and my, my wife is the fact that our son... Um, had attempted suicide twice now and you know and to think you know I listen to this song and think that you know I could turn around and my son wouldn't be there yeah you know and I saved his life the first time and we were able to catch him the second time the first time was actually worse um, I actually had to carry my son up a flight of stairs from his bedroom and they're roughly the same size friends and I literally picked him up, put him over my shoulders, and carried him upstairs because he was pretty much lifeless. To, you know, he was real shallow breathing, and, you know, I was scared. And the second time after he come out of that, you know, he was threatening and things and, you know, talking mm -hmm. to us. So we had him um, taken away and put away to be talked to and, you yeah. know, get some help. Try to find out what's going on. Three days later is when I heard this song, and you weren't there. And anybody that was in the studio they, that day that heard this actually witnessed my wife and I with tears in our eyes because it touched home, you know. Mm -hmm. Any song that touches you needs to be heard because I'm sure there's more people out there, you know, going through the same thing we are. And this song can actually, you know, be a little encouragement to look, you know, don't do that. You know, and there's a lot to be said for that. Um, Glenn, uh, Glenn Miller's wife used to get a tingling in the back of her neck whenever she knew that they had written the perfect song. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Absolutely. And you know, and that's one of the things that drew me to him was because of the originality. You can hear the passion and the sincerity into what he was doing and what he is doing. And uh, that's you know, I reached out to him, and you know, here we are. We have him on the label. All right, um, you, uh, you mentioned before we went live that uh, Link was saying he wanted to see change in the industry. So we already know that he, he if you don't know who Passing Time is, uh, Sam from Passing Time on YouTube or Facebook.com slash Passing Time Band. We're, we're kind of a busy, uh, it's almost like metal on keyboards with a lot of techno and jazz in it. I tend to call it industrial progressive. We have an acoustic band on the label. What is the change that you're looking for? Because I can tell you're not looking for one kind of music, or it's not that you're looking for one message. No, I mean, the thing is, you know, right now the industry is so confused. You know, I don't want to say that it's been destroyed by the greedies, but it is confused. And, the, the you know, we keep hearing, we want to hear more uh, different bands, different artists. We want to hear more music. We want to hear something new. And... One of the things we're doing is bringing these new sounds, these new progressive sounds from underground, above ground. And we're giving these uh, artists a chance, an opportunity to be heard. Progressive as in music, not liberal snowflakes. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, we want to give the artist, we want to give you guys an opportunity to be heard. And, uh, you know, I mean, 
7 billion people on this planet, this is a pretty big playground for the music industry, you know? So we're not in a rush, we're not in a hurry, but we do want to give the artist an opportunity to be heard, especially the new ones. Now, the, you know, the question new ones. I think people are going to ask is, for instance, Passing Time has been in the studio since November. Right. The first time somebody buys a CD and uploads it on YouTube, they'll be able to listen to it for free. How is it you plan on getting around this with bands and labels? Because you can't make money necessarily from the music anymore, at least not enough that you're going to live on in most instances. Right. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, do you want to be rich and famous, or do you want to be comfortable and famous? You know, I prefer to be comfortable because that's the thing. A part of the industry has been destroyed by the greed by all your major companies, um, you know, all your major corporations as far as your major labels. Yes. Um, that's the thing, you know, I mean, $125 for a ticket to go see a band or your favorite artist, that's a little ridiculous. I yeah, mean, it's a bit much. You know, it is. Um, the thing is, we're, drop, we're working on bringing the prices down because we can be comfortable, we can go on tour, we can sell music, you know, and we can sell merchandise and be comfortable. We don't have to be greedy about it. You know, we don't charge for autographs like a lot of them do, okay? I mean, uh, Brian, for instance, you know who I'm talking about, yep. $250 for an autograph. Really? That's ridiculous, okay? I'm in mean, Marilyn Manson. It's Marilyn fine. Manson. It's I, went to, I went to junior high with him. He was nice to me, him. but he was kind of a jerk. Yes. He was nice to me. Hello, Brian, you're still a jerk. You're, it, right. <laughs> But two hundred fifty dollars for an autograph? Come on! They just paid probably one hundred twenty-five, one hundred fifty mm -hmm. to get in to see your show. Why are you going to charge them for or at least sixty or seventy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're charging them for autographs. You're charging them to come sure. backstage. That is done with us. We will not do that. Our artists, our band, our bands. You know, they love being with their fans. They love signing autographs. There's never a charge for that. And we never have a pen, so bring your own. Bring your own pen. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead. You've already addressed the issue about people thinking they're signed and they're instantly rich. Before we jump off, what is the one thing that you would like to say to people who have maybe... Uh, we're working with... A, uh, well, I'm working with a girl that does punk rock covers, and I'm not really into covers... But she was told by people that she was too old. Uh, I'm working with a 14-year-old girl that was bullied. She was told that she was uh, too ugly. Uh, wh what is it you have to say to people that are too anything? You know what? As long as you're not doing it, sugar pop, then if you're not pretty, you're done. I mean, the thing is, you can't let anybody stop you. If this is your dream, don't let anybody stop you. Follow it. Regardless, I mean, I've, I've been bullied. I've been told that, you know, I would never amount to anything and, you know, different things. Yeah. But I've ignored all that because the haters that are doing these kinds of things don't want to see you succeed. They want to see you fail. So just just ignore everything and, and go forward. I mean, if this is what you want to do, do it. Definitely do it. Anything you do in life, if it's your dream, do it. Ignore them. They, uh, they don't make any sense. You know, I mean, really, we don't need to be bullied, you know, and... Just do it. Just do it. Forget what they're saying. I, I just can't say enough that you have to ignore that. Now, um, I want to tell everybody, if you get a hold of Link, and we'll say how to in a minute, if you do happen to come up with something that's good but just isn't a fit or the label's too busy, go ahead and send it to Link because he can at least pass it on to other people that may really want to do it. So, Link, how can they get a hold of you? You can get a hold of us on Facebook, Night Stalker Records. That's Night with a K, L um, LLC, Night Stalker Records, LLC on Facebook. Um, we did branch out uh, just recently, and, and that page will be up. It'll be Night Stalker Promotions, LLC. That page will be up very soon, probably within the next two weeks. And uh, you can, you know, you, we, uh, on the Night Stalker page, there is a phone number for the offices. You can call us. Uh, you could text me on uh, Facebook or uh, text the, uh, text, you know, you could text my phone number. A lot of people have it. And just give me a text. Let me know what you want. We, uh, you know, bands even would like to have their music reviewed, you know, and they send some of these things off to some of these major labels and they, major labels charge anywhere from 250 to 500 to tell you if your music's yes. good. We do it for free. And the we best, do it the for best free. way to handle and this... And we will give you an honest opinion. We will not be belligerent. 
or ugly about it. We will just tell you what our professional opinion is to help you be better. Mm -hmm. We want to help you work on your weaknesses to become better. If you guys get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com, I'll make sure you get his phone number. I don't just want to drop it on the video due to the nature of the internet. Um, with when 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 they send you things, do you prefer video or MP3? Um, or you don't links, care? links, links, preferably. It's a lot easier to you know flip over to hit YouTube. No, or I mean, do you want or YouTube or, some more more video? Yeah. You kind of like to get yeah, look at. yeah, because we like to look at the raw stuff because that gives us a better idea on what you're trying to do and a little bit of your style. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then when you hear the recorded stuff that you may have. That'll give us an idea of the consistency, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's where we'll help you at is, you know, hey, maybe you need to be a little more less on, you know, the volume, turn your music down a little bit, mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe you got to come up on your vocals or, you know, maybe a blend a little better, but we're, we're honest about it. And that's one of the things they like is because we're not here to blow smoke up people's butts. I mean, we're here for an honest reason and that's helped change this music industry to something better. So we can have three or four bands that we could be fans of, like we were back in the 80s and mm -hmm. the 70s. I remember going to shows. I would go to one show Friday night, Saturday night, I'm at another one, and then maybe later that night I'd go to another one. And we were able to afford to be able to go to these things because the prices were lower. Yes. And the bands weren't charged for everything, you know. And that usually falls back to the management as far as the pricing. And... Uh, but yeah, that's that's where we're at. All right, friends. So get a hold of me. Night Stalker Records, K N I G H T S T A L K E R. Night Stalker. You'll find it with a K online. Let me know that you uh, want to get a hold of me. The correct views at hotmail.com. Ignore my hair. I just got back from midget wrestling, and it's hotter than seven hells in this room. If you want to donate to my show, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. You can do it through PayPal. And all the money I get from that goes to a better show, better lights, better computers, whatever. Lastly, the word of the day is Night Stalker. If you say Night Stalker and let me know where to send you free stuff, I've got stickers, uh, stickers, I'll send you all kinds of cool stuff. Let me know in the comment line. Like, what do you want to say in closing? Be safe, let's rock it out, let's work together as a team out here as promoters, independent labels, other independent promoters and bands. Let's work together, let's change the industry, it's time for a change, let's do it. Good night friends and God bless.